I was humiliated when I was in secondary school. They left at me because they think I am gay. When I became aware of my homosexuality when I was about 17 or 18, uh, I was in polytechnic and uh, it became very clear that I was the target of ostracism and uh, bullying from my schoolmates. It was very difficult for me. When I was in school, my girlfriend and I were walking home one afternoon and there was a Chinese uncle who pointed his finger at us and started shouting. He said, are you homosexual? If you are, you better admit it now. How can you be so unfilial to your parents? Since young, I know that I always like guys. I've been looking at guys all along. I, but I've been running away from this fact uh, until university, where I start accepting myself. When I was younger, I used to have crushes on both girls and guys, and I always thought it would be a passing phase. But when I went into my 20s, I, f I didn't find a lot of men physically appealing, and people said that that's because my standards were just too high. Growing up in a typical Eurasian family, we were very holy and thought to be manly, but from a young age, when I watched Sesame Street, I had a feeling that Ernie and Bert were just more than friends. When I was in my secondary school days, I find myself always looking at the egg prefect, who happens to be the leader of the rugby team. No one quite understand what I'm going through, and I couldn't find any answer. When I was 18, I was often feeling miserable. I was having suicidal thoughts, and I had an eating disorder, because I didn't understand why I was the only boy in school who liked other boys. As for me, I'm from a traditional Chinese family, being told what to do, what is right, and what is wrong. Somehow in the process of growing up, I realized I actually like guys. I was always a tomboy at school. I know it doesn't look like it right now. I was always a tomboy. I was always very outdoorsy, very outspoken. But the one thing I knew for a fact was that I was never interested in boys. Um, I preferred to spend all my time with all my girlfriends. And I realized that I liked dressing up for girls. And yeah, I was just never interested in boys. When I was young, I used to get very hurt, sometimes even depressed when my family members or friends made negative comments about my appearance or behaviour. When they said I was weird or looked funny or stupid, I sort of believed some of those negative assessments and that handicapped me somewhat. When I was younger, I didn't think I would live past the age of 18. I didn't think I could tell anybody I was gay. I didn't fit in anywhere and I pretty much locked myself in myself a long time. I started realizing that I was different when I was in secondary three, when me and my friend in the school was always looking at guys and you know trying to gossip which is the most handsome looking guy in the school. When I reached Singapore, I realized I have the same potential regardless I am gay or not. Then one day I decided that I'm not going to tell a lie anymore because I didn't want to hurt the people that were closest to me. And people can say whatever they want. But what's more important is how I feel about myself and not feel guilty about it. One night when I was in my hostel room, uh, I hadn't gone back home for a few weeks because I didn't want my mom to comment on my dressing, say that I look tomboyish. When it finally hit me that the only thing stopping me from being who I was, was myself. I tried dating girls when I was in a university. Of course, the relationship ended before it even started. Just then, then where I decided that I should accept myself for who I am. So it was in my 20s after several relationships with men, I realised that something wasn't quite right and I had to re-evaluate my life. So that was when I had a good talk with one of my friends and she introduced me to a community of lesbians and it's through my friendships with them that I learned how to discover more things about myself and I felt more comfortable with myself. Even though knowing I was gay, the in thing to do at that time was to have a girlfriend. But every time when I would go to my girlfriend's house for dinner, I tend to look at the father more than my girlfriend. I was dating women up to university because I thought I could be bisexual, but then I realised actually that my preference really was for men. Being the eldest in the family and because of peer pressure, I actually got married and two kids. And my past started coming back, okay, reminding me of how much I actually like guys. So, I made the move forward and eventually divorced. And then I went to university and I realized one day that deep down everybody wanted to be noticed, everybody wanted to be different and they wanted to be noticed as an individual 
and that was when I made that decision to be myself and who I was. I was 24 when my partner committed suicide and she was my first love, but I realized that it was very important to have a community and have people that you can speak to and open up to. And it's very important to speak up as well and also to look up for your friends who may be at risk. The turning point in my life came when I was drafted into the army to serve Venice and that was when I could break away from all my straight classmate friends with their girlfriends and all that and lead my own individual, independent, private life. Doesn't matter if you are gay or not, you can reach your fullest potential. You doesn't even need to cover yourself. At this point, I just want to say I want to concentrate on living my life to the fullest and make everything count. And you don't have to live by other people's standards. You can still live life as colorful as you want it to be. After accepting myself, um, I slowly started coming out to my friends and family. Two and a half years ago, my partner and I went to Canada to get legally married. And um, we live together with her parents now. Her mom cooks for me every day. And my parents have accepted her too. Uh, is life better for us? Well, I guess uh, life gets better. And knowing who I am and who we are until this very day has definitely made us a better and happier person. Because now that we are together for three and a half years, we have been doing things together like you know, learning scuba diving and currently we are doing guitar lessons together. So I'm actually in a relationship with a girl right now, but it doesn't mean that just because you are in love or just because you are comfortable with your sexuality, there's suddenly no problems in life and no issues between you. But I think being part of this community, there are people that can understand our issues and people who can support us through our problems and that's, one, that's a wonderful feeling. And now I'm a social worker, I really enjoy doing it because, well, I train other professionals to help people in crisis and I also help people who are in trouble as well. My experience being gay and marginalised has helped me identify others who are marginalised too, which is why uh, right now I'm involved in helping my people with this as a social I'm now a much happier gay person because I've learned to tune out other people's negative criticisms of me and rely on my own assessment of myself as a gauge of my own self-worth and my position in society. I think I'm a very different person today. I live my life free from fear and free from other people's expectations. I live my life according to my rules. I always knew that one day I will find my prince charming and here he is. As you can see, we are living together now, moving on in life happily as one family. Life now is great, it's better than it ever was. And let's face it, life will never be perfect. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But just face it courageously, beautifully, and just take each day as it comes and live life fully and courageously. I would never have dreamed that I would be as happy as I am today. Now life just gets better when you start accepting and living for yourself or who you really are. And for those of you who are out there still trying to figure out who you are and if you really need help, there are always resources in Singapore that you can turn to. You are stronger than you think. Believe me and believe in yourself. It does get better. Things got better for us. It can get better for you too. I think when we reach out to our friends, we can all help each other to make it better. So, it will definitely get better. It will get better for everyone. You have to get better. It, it will, will get better. better. Hi, I'm Duncan. Hi, I'm Charmaine. I'm Elena. Welcome to Pelangi Pride Centre. Pelangi Pride Centre was started off by LGBTs because... We wanted to offer a place uh, that is alternative to the carving scene. And this is the same place that you can find our uh, GRBT related resources. Mm -hmm. We're open every Saturday for four hours and we're staffed by volunteers who are also LGBT. This is a place that you can come to to find information for yourselves, to decide with the, for yourselves with that information what you can do with your own lives. I think that there is always some form of discrimination everywhere and what's most important is that you have the, you are able to accept yourself and have the confidence to deal with the kind of discrimination. And what we offer here is the kind of information that helps you uh, find that confidence for yourself. Mm -hmm. The community that cares basically, you know, and people who've gone through the same thing as you. Mm -hmm. So for more information, you can visit us on our website. It's www.palangipridecenter.org.